Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a Valentine heart with buttons, but we're just not going to make an ordinary Valentine. We're going to do it on a canvas and we're going to use stripes. Won't this be gorgeous? So our first line is to make our stripes on our canvas. So we are going to measure, we measured this, it's almost 20, so we're going to approximate and go two inches so that we'll get six stripes coming down. So we just mark from the top and we'll put a little line at two on this side and a little line down here at two also on this side. And then we can go two, four, six, eight, ten. And the same on this side, two, four, six, eight, ten. And then we will take our ruler straight across and match our lines and draw a line so we know exactly each stripe is going to be. We're going to be using acrylic paint to make our stripes. And because acrylic paints dry rather quickly, that'll make this job a little bit nicer. So we have basically six stripes evenly spaced. So now we'll take our brush, and I think we're going to start with uh, white and then black because my heart is going to be pro approximately this long. So these are all the little things you can figure out how you want it to look. Maybe we should cut our heart first. So we have a piece of red felt, okay, and we're going to fold it over so it's like in half so that when we cut our our heart out, we only have to make one cut around. We don't have to do it a couple times. Okay, so you're just going to actually make half a heart. And we're just going to cut around. For those that are a little bit more afraid, I can make a template for you. So you know, basically, how this is going to be. Okay, now that looks a little too wide. You can straighten that out. It looks a little too, a bit too, um, small, you're in trouble, but why we can take it down, and I think a little bit smaller than this, because I want my stripes to really show. So let's small this up a little bit. And again, just taking your scissors and going around the edge, so you can kind of see how big it's going to be. Oh, oh, I think that looks like a great size for on this, because we'll have all the stripes showing, what we want. So, since I'm going to be doing red, maybe we will want white stripe. This will be a black, this will be a white, and then this one will be black and we'll end up with white. So, we'll start black, white. And if you think you might get a little not knowing what you're starting with, I will put B at the corner so you know exactly then that this starts your black and then you know the next one will be white. All right, to make this easier, and you don't have to worry about messing it up as much, we will have our masking tape, painter's tape, and we're just about the size we need, and we'll put it right there at the line, and we'll make sure we, on the one side where it's, it's going to be up against the black, we make sure that this is well adhered. If you want to go over the sides of your canvas, you can. And if you do that, make sure your masking tape fits all the way around. And if it doesn't, just tear off another piece and put it on until it's straight again. And one on this side too. Now, this is all your preference. If you prefer to have maybe the sides all one color, you can leave it as such. And we're going to do every black one right off the bat so we know. So this is black, this one's white, this one is black again. So we have to now tape it up from the, from the top. So it looks like every white one is going to have two pieces of tape on it. Last time, 
And then because we all make mistakes, we will double check. So we have a black, then we'd have a white, then we have a black, then we have a white, then we'd have a black, and this will be white. So we only need one tape on the bottom there. Then we'll take our brush and our black acrylic paint. We will paint our black stripe. I'm going to try not to go over the side for this one. Won't guarantee you that it won't come up somewhat because we can always take black paint at the end and go all the way around our canvas. We don't want to just match all the sides. Okay, then our next black stripe. That's a nice color. We're done with our black stripes. We're going to let that dry a little bit. Put our brush in water, rinse it off. Get all the black out of there. Okay, now since we have time to let that dry to go to white, and we have our, our uh, heart here cut out. We know what size, it's a good size for us. So now we can start choosing our buttons. There are bigger ones, so these all, okay, there are big ones and there are small ones. So we are going to actually glue these hearts onto this felt, so we're not wasting any time while that dries. to our canvas again. And it's not quite dry. I guess I'm pretty fast. But let's start taking these off and see how our stripes actually did. Okay, now the next thing we do is to paint your white stripes. Now my black's not totally dry, so we can either wait to dry or we may use a blow dryer to actually facilitate the fact that it's going to dry a little faster. But in the meantime, what we can do is if your black's not done, we'll just kind of paint. Let's see, let's just wait for that totally to dry. And when we're done drying, we'll basically hot glue our our heart right back onto this canvas. We'll just position it where we want it. And I think it'd probably be best to put the glue. Okay. Let's right start with a little glue right in the middle of this. And Voila, there we have it. Button heart on. Um. 